where to begin. Begin from where you are. Number one starts with the book. If you buy a book, you pay the equivalent price. Many costs only about ten dollars, but the problem is not the price of the book. The problem is the cost you have to pay if you don't read it. Everything we think we will do to build a beautiful and happy future has already been successfully implemented and written now. Don't let your day be stolen by thousands of scattered pieces of information from various social networks. Many of us often overlook the process of self-learning. When completing university programs or finishing a three-month apprenticeship phase, but unintentionally you stop the process that maintain your brain development, so it can only use old information and run repetitive problem-solving programs. We don't face major problems when we are still in our twenties, but in ten years, you certainly realize that young employees are much better. They read more books. They have better skills. They even have broader knowledge, and they are the ones being recruited. The business advantage is that their working hours are also cheaper. We don't need to start with a library of a thousand books. It is impossible. We just need one. Starting today, they are always available for us. Number two, change how we make decisions. If you usually wake up at seven a.m., try waking up thirty minutes earlier. If you often watch a movie for an hour, limit that time to thirty minutes. Sometimes, what you choose doesn't matter. What matters is that you make the decision. It's always difficult to decide, and sometimes it's like an internal struggle. But every challenge has rewards. Usually, we change. For one of two reasons, inspiration or desperation. Certainly, in your mind, there is already a long list of to dos or can dos, and they are waiting for you to decide. If we were a tree, we would live easier and happier, but we are not given a designated position. Or a predetermined development direction, like that tree. This sometimes causes pain when you're lost and don't know where you belong. The universe does not force us to live in a certain way, but it gives us much more powerful than that, which is freedom. You have the freedom to live the way you want, to go for the path you want. Of course, each path brings you different experiences. Just choose what experience you want, what you want to achieve, what values of yourself to build and express. The decision is yours. What role you're willing to play. What to face and what journey to start, what price you're ready to pay for that choice. Our destination cannot be changed overnight, but the direction to it can be. Number three, comprehension yourself. The first person you need to know clearly is yourself. For a long time, I wondered what I wanted. And needed, and thousands of other questions, mostly doubted people, 
and the world around me. That comes from a lack of self-connection. Self-understanding requires time, careful observation, and experiential process. Second, understanding is achieved through practice. How we react to the outside world, how we communicate, express ourselves to the world, how we go through a day, how we laugh, how we feel and love. The more you give yourself the opportunity to immerse in the experiment, the clearer and more authentic the comprehension becomes, and the self-defining process gets more accurate. Self-observation is a fundamental factor that needs more training time. Number four. Become excited. Excitement is a higher level than interest. When interested, you want to try to see if something works or not. But when excited, you want to know how it works. This is the problem when you focus too much on outside world or on the inside. If you stay too long with the feeling of discomfort, discomforts from the weather, from your work, from your colleagues, as I once did, then you are paying too much attention to a person or a situation that is not really worth it, because the potential for changes lies within you. I used to let emotions dominate for too long. I get that it is a trap, constantly draining energy from you every day, and the process works similarly to exercising. Learning, learn how to turn discomfort into excitement. This is the skill that helps us learn more. Then we are in doubt or discomfort. Number five starts with an idea. To encourage ideas, we must explore. Rarely does a clue or a hint come uninvited. It all starts with an evaluated thought and put into action. Suggestions are also a source of inspiration for creativity, solutions, and for innovation. Sometimes all you need to open up a new horizon is to have one more great mental picture. Ideas come from information, so to develop your vision, you need to pay attention. To observation and note taking. Focus on what is happening to you and around you. Maintain the habit of briefing any emerging thoughts. It could be when you are listening to someone talking, when you are checking a book, or when people are discussing and interacting. Listen and focus to absorb diverse, multi-dimensional opinions. It's also a skill to broaden your perspective. Take some time during the day to concentrate on imagination, such as writing, drawing, or doing handicrafts. This depends on each individual. But putting yourself in a relaxed state while maintaining attentive observation is ideal for the intensive process.